on daylight saving time. Do you, you like know, it? I don't mind it. Yeah. I don't mind it. You know, I like the extra sleep, light. sleep, but the extra light is always right. really nice. Especially here when it's all rainy and dark. It's good. And we have a lot of rain yeah. coming up still. Yeah, he said he could enjoy the flowers, so totally. Exactly. It's good job time. for it. Great, great story. Yes. <laughs> so we do have the rain, we have wind, we have snow for the mountains. We have a lot to talk about, so let's kind of jump right into that. We'll start with the radar because it's been pretty active for today. We've had some moments where we had some sunshine and some blue sky, which is always nice, but we've also had uh, the accompaniment of some rain showers throughout the day today, too. So very scattered now we're waiting for our next system that's really going to push on as we go into tomorrow until then though we do have these scattered rain showers along the coast where the wind is picking up even some thunderstorms today a rumble of thunder i've had some reports of some uh, hail today too so that's something that we've seen on the southeast side of portland earlier today now it's staying mostly dry if, especially if you're heading up i-5 towards hillsborough but yeah we could still have a chance for some light rain showers as we go into this evening check out the snow that's falling down mount hood meadows look great i was at mount bachelor this uh, thursday and friday a lot of snow there it was wonderful and we're going to continue to see more as we go into tonight as those snow levels drop but we just have an abundance of moisture to continue to move on through as we go through uh, the next day or so and into our Monday. So here's another look at satellite and radars pushing off to the northeast, maybe even a rumble of thunder off to the northwest there, areas like Astoria down to Cannon Beach, uh, and then even north of that on the Washington coast too for you folks, stretching towards Long Beach and then over towards Longview, some rain showers for you too, and expect the snow through the Cascades. Here's a live look right now at Mount Hood Meadows. They've just been pounded with the snow for today. Uh, you can see it's falling down now. They've had some snow there uh, throughout the day today too, so just perfect if you're going out to do some skiing. Now this is what we're expecting as we go into our Sunday because our Sunday is going to be more active than it is today, if you can believe that. So what we're going to expect is the valley is going to have some possible gusts tomorrow, 40 to 60 miles per hour. It's going to be one of those windy ones. Uh, and then along the coast, gust up to 70 miles per hour. So we're going to have a really strong system move on in. It's going to have all the support it needs to bring in some pretty strong wind tomorrow. So it's one of those wind events. By the late morning and afternoon hours, that's when we'll start to see things pick up. And then it'll probably be closer towards the afternoon to the early evening where we have some really strong winds. So you're going to want to get all of your updates right here, of course, on Coin6 News. You can follow us on social media uh, and everything like that. We'll have all the updates for you. Riley will be here tomorrow morning. I'll have you covered for the afternoon and evening. And then on top of it, a chance for some pretty heavy rain showers, too, and pockets of heavy rain. So we have a high wind warning tomorrow along the coast until 8 p.m. So expect gusts 60, 70 miles per hour, pretty similar to uh, last Wednesday. And then a wind advisory along the valley and pushing off to the east uh, for areas like the Tri-Cities. On top of it, we have a winter weather advisory along the Cascades. Those snow levels right around 3,000 feet to 3,500 feet. Uh, that continues through our Sunday afternoon. So if you have to do any traveling tomorrow through the Cascades, uh, you'll probably want to start early because I think by the time we get to the afternoon, we can even have more snow. So about two to four inches tonight and then add another five to maybe eight inches uh, tomorrow. So they've already picked up about four inches at Timberline Meadows, three inches and Bachelor, two inches ski bowl. When those snow levels go down a little bit more, you should start to see some snow accumulating for you folks. Our current temperatures right now in the mid 40s, so it's a little bit more cool uh, than it has been recently. Upper 40s for the Dallas, Redmond at 39. As we go through this evening, we'll be about the 40s. Uh, we'll keep a chance for some rain showers through the evening hours. Temperatures uh, still sticking out in the 40s. We'll go through tonight. Look at this, very scattered, but still moisture come tomorrow morning. So if you're going out for the run tomorrow morning, be prepared for the rain showers, snow for the cascade. It's going to add on up. We have this big barreling system to the northeast, and that's going to continue to bring the rain showers and the strong wind in tomorrow morning. You can see the snow all the way through. Pretty much the whole cascade stretching up through Washington down through Oregon. So seven day forecast. We have Sunday at 53, Monday at 53. It's going to be rainy to end the weekend and start the new work week, but then it's going to turn out to be very nice by the time I hit St. Patrick's Day. Temperatures in the 60s and sunshine. I know tomorrow's a big day when it comes to wind and weather and rain, but that sunny forecast looks so much better. That second I need end that so bad seven right day now. looks really nice, yeah. but tomorrow we're going to have a lot of activity, so right. make sure they stay tuned here. We'll have all your gotcha. updates. All right. Thanks, Joe.